So, um, to each of you to explain that. After you've pitched, you have to draw one of these. Alex was so kind to draw a dummy, which is WoofGo, which is Uber for dogs. He's looking for a designer and an app developer to develop Uber for dogs. So if you have an awesome idea, draw a piece of paper after you've pitched so people can put dots on them and then later on we can actually count, them. count the dots. So thanks. And now we're going to start Startup Weekend Pitch Fire, my favorite part of the Startup Weekend. So without further ado, I would all, each and every one of you, to clap an amazing applause for Florian. So I'm Florian, founder of Blitzbringer, and as a founder, um, my task is to uh, represent my business, and for that I need to go everywhere. But I can't because I don't have money, so I want to develop a founder's barn card, barn card 100, so founders can travel for free for one year. But for that, we need Deutsche Bahn on board, and we need to convince them somehow, so we need a business guy to figure out how we can earn money, and really get Deutsche Bahn on board. We need a designer to make it look really cool. And if you're a marketing person, create the Facebook account, get the first 100 likes until Sunday night. So I'm looking for a team to do this over the weekend and win on Sunday night. J join Founders Barncard. Thanks. Thanks, Florian. Florian, here. After you've pitched, go over there. Thanks. Uh, stand in front of my notebook, that works best. So, um, without further ado, a nice round of applause for Dirk. Oh, and Jan Millin. Um, what is the problem that customers has um, on vending machines? Uh, they never have enough chains and the machine does not uh, accept bills. My solution is an online payment option for vending machines and this does not require the internet connection um, but uh, only just a software uh, adjustment. The customer selects a product and then scans with the favorite scanning code app the QR code and then selects the payment, maybe PayPal I love PayPal, then pays and receive a PIN. And this PIN gets, um, resolves the, uh, gets res <laughs> the coffee. Thanks, Dirk. Join my team. Thanks, Dirk. You really scared me, it looked like a bomb trigger. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Please, nice round of applause for Jan Melin. Thank you. Um, hands up, please. Who's invested in stock or anything on the market? Hands up? Anyone? Okay. Uh, that's a lot of people, but I think that's more than out there. So what I want to do, I want to make my vision is to empower everyone out there with the knowledge to make basic long-term investment decisions and offer a safe sandbox on a guarded playground on the guarded financial playground. Um, there's a negative interest rate and I want to make the, what is Amor Relief for sex shops, I want to have those um, kind of bringing a product to people that wouldn't have bought it before. Um, like getting the dirty finance products out there. What I want to do is getting easy products like a customized mix of simple products based on behavioral finance research like Markowitz portfolio theory um, out there, uh, which is secure, which is cheap, um, like ETFs uh, of the MSCI world, uh, making investing low cost honors for everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Jan. So, George, are you ready? ready of course. 
Hello, my name is George. I'm like to build a buyer's guide. It's it's help, it will help people like for example in Media Markt or Saturn to choose the right product for them because usually customers are overwhelmed by products which they probably don't need or whatever. I already have a prototype, but it's of course not fancy enough to go to the client and say, "Look, that's what I'm going to uh, present or to sell." So I'm looking for technical guys who help me designing or like improving this buyer's guide to make it ready to sell it to a B2B customer and um, turn a little bit money on that. Thank you very much. Thank you, George. Franzi, that's awesome. Give a nice round of applause for Franzi. Hi, guys. So if you have been ever before to an emergency room on Sunday, we would have likely figured out that there's a lot of sick people waiting and for a very, very long time and on a very, very hard chair. And you certainly don't want to be that patient. So the solution is a website and an app that shows the patient um, how long he or she will be waiting for until they see the doctor. So they can maybe go back to bed or have a cup of coffee or anything else they like. Yes, so that's the idea, and I would like to have about yeah, a designer and a developer and, of course, excited people for the project. Thank you. Thank you, Franzi. So, are you up to the task, Kevin? Let's see. Hey guys, so I'm passionate about two things. First of all, advancing my careers on events like this, so probably very similar to a lot of you guys. Secondly, fitness. Well, and for fitness and also career development, it's very, per it's very crucial to have a perfect diet, lean nutrition. But there's always one limiting factor, that's the time. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to provide lean meals from simple and unprocessed ingredients that are delivered to your house ready to eat well first uh, a lot of you guys probably scream wow that's going to be so expensive but there are three things about that we're going to deliver in bulk so minimum four products we are going to deliver in boxes so you can put these boxes into your fridge and store them there for three or four days and lastly it's a subscription model so we are going to deliver every Wednesday every Monday you get your boxes you store them in your fridge that's it you have a healthy lifestyle can pursue your fitness 60 seconds on point so Merrick Nice round of applause for Mary. Hi guys, so I'm not sure I'm in the right place, but uh, <laughs> to be uh, right, uh, I, am, uh, I have uh, 20 years experience in everything that flies and uh, from the everything and, uh, and uh, modelism and programming. And uh, I'm interested in uh, renewable energy and especially in uh, wind turbines. And uh, the idea I found quite interesting is uh, wind turbines, uh, which uh, functions with kites. And uh, for the moment, I have, uh, for this, you need to uh, have an autopilot system. I do have it. I've experienced it on something which is not a kite. And I am here for looking, I'm looking for uh, developers. I'm looking for mentoring. So if you find this idea interesting, just uh, pop up to me. Or if you, if you have any question, just pop out. That's OK. Uh, cool that you are here tonight, guys. Thank you, Merrick. So, <laughs> he doesn't have a name tag, so he's Alex. Thanks, Alex. Please tell us what's your idea about. Hello, everybody. I'm Alex, um, engineer, French. And what is my problem today? I have no idea. So what's the solution? It's start a weekend. And more seriously, um, topic, personal savings. Well, we, life expectancy is uh, always um, longer. And we, we, we want to, to save money for, for, for the end of our life. That's my topic. I want to challenge personal savings for um, our money. So please uh, join me to revolution the, this topic. Thank you very much. So, Slava, are you right? Are you ready? Yes. 
then start. Imagine a small uh, service shop, a massage or a doctor or a car repair. They want to grow their business online and they what can they do? They can register their their company on the Google Maps and enter a telephone number and then they have to fill in this big uh, appointment book and the clients have to call and call again and then spell their name uh, on the phone letter by letter. The uh, solution is a website or and an app where a business owner can register their company, enter contact details and a small description, thus creating a, a micro website for them. And uh, they get a custom uh, subdomain and uh, most importantly the appointment management system. The clients can go to the website and choose their appointment, enter the details without registration and every appointment gets a speaking URL which can be, uh, then the appointment can be shared, uh, emailed or... Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you Slava. So the next one up is Dominic. Let's uh, talk all about, yeah, come, come with me, come with me. <laughs> See that works. Hi. I'm Dominic, I'm doing my bachelor degree in media and computer science right now. And together with some friends, I built up a social startup. It's called ZUX, that's German for Zivile Unterstützung im Katastrophenschutz. In English, something like civilian support in a case of emergency or something. Uh, what we want to do is to build up a smartphone app to coordinate people, people that want to help. I'm talking about volunteers, civilian people that want to help. During the uh, refugee, ref refugee uh, emergency that we have in our country right now, we see that there are a lot of Germans that want to help, but there's no chance. So we want to build up this platform. There's a big ur urgency right now. And yeah, that's our aim in the company. We are optimistic because our survey said that there would be about 80% of us that would, hel would help if there was a system like ours. Until now, it's just an idea, but I hope we can bring it up together this weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Dominic. You guys are pitching together? Yes, we're together. Okay, then only 30 seconds per person. <laughs> no, start, have fun. Okay, good evening, guys. Hello. This is Phil, I'm Waldemar, and we're both economic students. We are from Dortmund. Don't worry, we don't want to talk about soccer tonight. And uh, let's talk about our vision. Our vision is to reinvent the gastronomy market. It means in the last years, nothing really special in the food industry changed. Of course, you can decide new ingredients, or you can say, I want a big, small, or medium pizza, but that's it. And we want more. We want that every single person in the room who is as individual, should be as individual as his uh, meal. It means you can decide your proteins, your calories, you can say, okay, I want to eat vegan, I want to eat only vegetables. And we think we need some marketing specialist, maybe some software specialist, because we want to create an online shop, and we need your help. Please vote for us, thank you. That was the most silent pitch by Philip I've ever heard. <laughs> so, another Philip who won't pitch silent. Rise out of applause for another loud Philip this time. Hey guys, nice to meet you. My name is Philip. Who likes traveling? So, most of you know the problem. You don't have internet connection. When you want to meet up with somebody or find the next restaurant or forget where your hotel is, you would love to have internet connection. And my solution would be using internet without having internet by sending your messages or your searching uh, information via beacon or Bluetooth connect um, technology to another person who actually has internet connection and allow yourself to get internet connection to be able to find your hotel again or find the next toilet or find your friends. To develop that, I would need to have programmer, inspiring people, and people who want to change the world. Thank you. Thank you. So, Alex, let's hear from Alex. Thank you. Okay, so I believe the sharing economy we know today is not a sharing economy, it's a renting economy, and I want to change this. I think, uh, no, I don't think, um, over the world you have like thousand uh, um, cultures who use, 
You have like you have like thousand different small places where you use a change currency, and these change currencies are not digital. I want to create a digital trading currency. This means you have a platform, you have a digital product, you can share. You put it on the website and you earn bumpies of it. These bumpies you can use for other products from other people on this website. I need a web developer, a web designer and anybody else who believes in a real ec uh, sharing economy. Thank you. Thank you. Sodom? Sodom! Hi, hello all. My name is Swarab Soni and I am from India. So, uh, ever since my childhood, I wanted to uh, look for many social problem in the society. And I saw many problem, but uh, until I get married. And when I get married, I find the biggest one. <laughs> so yes, I want to solve the problem in the relationship. So. If we, if we put few people who are lucky into the separate bucket, all of us are into a problem. So we want to solve that problem and out of the people who are into problem, there are many of them who over a period of time for years, they have taken a right kind of decisions and then they have solved their problems. So we, we, we want to use that experience to solve the people for the young, younger generation. So there should be one platform where they can talk to the people who have suffered the same kind of problem in the past and now they can solve it. Thank you. That was different. Awesome. <laughs> so, Soel, please tell us what your idea is about. Hello, guys. My name is Soel. Um, think you are going to buy a product, for example, a mobile phone in Frankfurt. And the cost of the mobile phone is 500 euros. At the same time, you see in the internet, uh, the same product does cost 300 euros in Hamburg. So if you can create a platform, somebody who lives in Hamburg can say, OK, I'm willing to buy the product and to ship it to you. And for that, he will get some uh, percent of the cost, some money. So, OK, thank you, guys. Thanks, Soil. So. I've known that face. It's Frank. Let's hear from Frank. Okay. So uh, Mario tricked me into this presentation with if you have some vague ideas. So here's one. Uh, I don't know. How many of you have heard of Bitcoin? A lot. Okay. So behind Bitcoin, there's a protocol. And this is called the blockchain. And some people say that the protocol behind Bitcoin is much more important than Bitcoin itself. I'm one of those. Um, it's like the relation from the internet that you see to the TCP IP protocol, the SMT protocol behind it. The blockchain is a protocol behind Bitcoin. And it's a fancy way of storing property online in a trustless way. It means you can uh, store the property on the blockchain without banks. So it's credits without banks and a stock brokerage without a broker. And you could do something with it. And here comes the vague part. I don't know exactly what to do, but <laughs> it could be something for the sharing economy. Quick, instant to regulate who owns what. Thanks. So, can I read your name? It's Ekaterina. Please tell us what your idea is about. Hi. Hi everyone, I'm a psychologist and as my hobby I just don't analyze people but I really love to think about emotions and people's emotions. So my idea is kind of an emotional cube that tracks the voice of a person and analyzes the emotion and it changes the color due to the emotion of the person. Instead, for instance, if a person is sad, it will turn blue. For this idea, people can learn to control their emotions and they can interact with this cube. So they can change the color from blue to green or to yellow and to feel more happy about their life. So for my idea, I'm looking for designers, developers, and many crazy people. Thank you. That's great. I'm a colorful person. I could need that. So, whoa. We probably know these guys. 
the winners from last time. Please give a nice round of applause to Christian and Mark. Hi, up. Can you hear me? Yeah, excellent. Okay, so this is Mark, I'm Chris. And Mark, tell me, what sucks about existing personal finance management solutions? Well, what sucks is, I don't even know where my money is going. Yep. <laughs> and also, I don't get any help to meet my financial goals. Okay, keep it going. And look here, look at my wallet. I have like 20 different payback cards that I'm carrying around. And even more than that, I have a whole suitcase of coupons stored in my basement. Okay. Yeah, so what do you think? How can we improve this situation? Well, let's just make a better system. Let's make a system that actually has proper automatic transaction categorization, a system that includes automated expert financial advice, and a system that actually supports payback systems and deals. And let's call the system Dagobert. I like the name. Thank you. Awesome, no stereo. Um, so, thanks to these guys. And there's Tobias coming up. So, let's hear from Tobias. Hi, my name is Tobias and my idea is pretty simple. Um, have you ever received some information online that you would later have maybe have to rely on, like a receipt or you ordered something and you got like um, stock online and you got um, a confirmation of that and you would later like to use that maybe. So I have received things like that and usually it's a PDF and it has like some complicated numbers and it says this PDF is signed by some authority and you can check it here online but I guess most people never do check that. Um, so I would like to create an app where you can just push one button and then you see okay this checks out and you could use it for all kinds of things. Um, and I think that was, this would be also be very useful for all the other fintech startups and ideas because they would like to inspire trust in their customers and um, giving out this kind of information would inspire trust in customers. So please work with me. Thanks, Tobias. So, wait a second. Uh, we're down to the last three pitches. I think so. Anyone who now has heard, well, I could probably do that. Somebody who has thought, well, that should be better. Probably somebody who works at Deutsche Bahn. I don't know. Um, come on. Somebody who, who works in a corporate environment and wants to pitch something, who has a great idea. Somebody who is probably a woman. We haven't had so many women. Any woman who was on the fence of pitching, who went here with a girlfriend, told her, yeah, we should probably do something. Yay! <laughs> See? That's, that's what I want to hear. We also, well, we had a lot of pitches so far. I like them. But I haven't heard anything from the category of pets. Has anyone a pet idea? Actually, there was a pet idea, Uber for dogs. So, no pet ideas. Really, last call for pitches. Okay, three, two, one, and your chance is gone. Let's hear from Marcus. Yeah, hello, my name is Marcus, and I spent three years in China, and there I also saw the problem. The education market in China is a huge market and for everyone education is very important. So, the problem is the, mark the education is very inefficient, it's very expensive and I give you one example, for one hour of English you pay maybe 500 kwai, but the, the teacher who actually teaches the student, he only sees 150 kwai. So the school gets a lot of money. The next problem is the schools are very bad. Students, they learn for example 10 years English, but in the end, when they finish school, they cannot even talk English. So the solution to this problem is a platform which consists of a mobile education and a website. And this platform serves as a connection between knowers and learners. Knowers are people who know something and learners are people who learn something. And the second model is a model uh, for online learning that provides individual instruction to learners, which is a problem even in Germany, no individualized instruction. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, somebody else joined. Great. Ben? 
please tell us what do you want to pitch? G'day guys, is that close enough? Yep. Uh, my name's Ben, um, I'm quite active in the community in Frankfurt, well, nobody probably knows who I am, but what I really love is group activities. Uh, all those activities that you need four to ten people to do, but what really sucks is when you get to a new city and you don't know anybody. Um, and you really would like to go and play an escape room, for example, needs six people, but unfortunately you don't have five other friends available on that night. So I would love to create a website or an app or however, whatever platform we, we want to work on that, um, which is basically a matchmaking service for last minute activities where people who are looking for an activity and activity hersteller can, um, can list their, their activities and you can drop in at the last minute and you know uh, when you arrive that there will be a bunch of people that you never met before just ready to play or whatever. Uh, this could be also used for um, pop-up events which are becoming very popular, which are one-time events or <laughs> professional sports tournaments. Vote for me. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Ben. So, the woman who later on thought she wanted to pitch. So what do you want to tell me? Well, I don't have a name for it right now because I just came up with it really. I thought about fitness. So somebody was telling me today, and I heard that before, that they had some goals that they wanted to reach, like losing a couple of pounds, gaining a couple of pounds of muscle, something of that nature, but they never reached it. They sign up to a gym, then they have a buddy that they work out with, and then the buddy doesn't come anymore, so they don't go anymore either. Or they sign up to a forum, and then they write, hi, this is my name, I'm blah, 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 and I want to lose 10 pounds, but then they never do because nobody asked for the progress. So how about a website or an app where you can actually have a personal trainer for a fair fee, but you don't, on all, don't only get the personal trainer, but you also get a community of people who share the same goal. So basically you sign up, you say, I want to lose 10 pounds, you get grouped with people who also want to lose 10 pounds, and then you get a personal trainer. And then you have a community to hold you accountable. So you'll be basically working together towards this goal, and you're not going to be left out by yourself. Thanks, Juliane. And who's hiding their name? It's Karen. Let's hear it from Karen. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. My name's Karen. Um, so my idea is that um, I think the world's changed. So, you know, my parents, obviously, um, you know, able to afford to buy their house, you know, uh, uh, very well off, retired. I'm sure lots of your parents also, you know, retired, own their own properties. But in the UK, for example, and other places around the world, it's a lot harder for the younger generation to be able to aspire to that and to buy their own property. I think, you know, it's a changing financial situation in the world. Um, so my idea is to build a game that gets... Um, students, I guess, and teenagers to like computer game to try and get them to start getting interested and in towards saving money to buying property. Um, so the idea would be to have them a game that they start off with and they can play and then try and get them encouraged to then put, actually put money into saving to buy property and then I guess expand on that idea. So thank you. Thank you, Karen. Oh, let's hear from one of our augurs. Give a round of applause to Clement. Hi, guys. Uh, I hope some of you guys uh, enjoy some traveling from time to time. And whenever you go to a country outside the Eurozone, um, even though we are um, not using uh, cash a lot anymore, um, outside the Eurozone, a lot of uh, countries, you need some cash, some local cash currencies in your wallet. And there's the problem of current exchange currency offices uh, where you go and you get a really bad uh, exchange rate. And so let's, uh, let's destroy these exchange of rate offices and let's make small local shops your new uh, exchange rate uh, office. Um, we're going to build an app uh, where we make uh, small shops like coffees, uh, small uh, local shops, um, handing you out your, uh, your local currencies for the exact uh, uh, currency course uh, rate uh, at the moment, and you as a tourist going to stay there and have some free uh, or get some get some drinks and stuff. So we're going to need app developers, marketing guys, and more. Thanks, Clemens. So Eleonore, she wants to join. She wants to talk. Let's hear what she's going to talk. I'm Eleanor, entrepreneur since five years on the issue of mentoring. And here's my big coming out. I'm a lazy person. 
You know those moments when you have to do some bookkeeping and you find yourself playing on your phone on some funny games? I catch myself all the time and I'm wondering why can't work just be more like a game? Why do you have to game to distract yourself? Why can't the very real thing of work not be like more a game? There's lots of solution for fitness like Rantastic and all that. And why can't you make a productivity app which is like a game which you get points, you can score, you can compete with a team, with other people, you can share online your success on, oh, hey, I booked so many bills in five minutes, hey, cool. So I'm looking for the craziest guys on gaming and who know about that and of course how to make money with apps. <laughs> so the crazy productivity app for real life. Woo! Who wouldn't love that? So Sasha, let's hear from Sasha. Good evening everyone. <coughs> So th since this is about fintech, I woke up this morning and, and thought about pitching about um, some kind of fast uh, payment solution that helps you to leave a restaurant uh, quicker when you're late for a meeting. But uh, I, I just changed my mind. I came to an idea. I mean, we're all hearing all these refugees coming into our country right now, and obviously they need help. And we already heard that uh, there's a lot of people want to help them, uh, but don't know exactly how. But I think there's two facts that we should take into consideration. A most of them have smartphones, and B, there's a lot of potential talent and enthusiasm uh, that these people bring into this country. And I haven't seen any solution that could foster leverage and bring this potential into some kind of a productive form that would help them, not only to help themselves, but also to become part of this uh, society in a quicker and more straightforward way than uh, we currently offer to them. Thank you, Sasha. That was right on point. So, we only have one pitchy left. So, I do this just once a year, you know? So, you should probably get up and start pitching, like, right now, because it's going to be one year until you get the chance. Somebody got up. Is somebody going to pitch? Please wave if you do. Otherwise, don't get me excited. Okay, cool. Then let's hear from Phil. Thanks, Phil. Hey, guys. My name is Phil. Uh, I'm from Berlin, and I work in IT consulting. So what do you think is the most time-consuming thing in consulting or in an office job in general? It's writing emails. And the worst thing about that is I don't get paid for that. It's not billable. So what's the problem? Who has heard of SwiftKey? SwiftKey is an app for Android and for iOS, which is actually like analyzing what you write to certain people in certain like patterns. Why does it not exist for emails? Like it does. Then we make it better. <laughs> not a bad pitch. Google was the better Alta Vista, so well. Do you want to pitch alone or together or? Okay, so give it up for Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. Um, haven't you ever thought, oh, I cannot paint? Really, I've never t uh, touched a brush in my whole life. Um, I want to change that. Art has really left our lives and I think, uh, think it should get into our lives again because art makes you creative. So um, my idea is to start doing events, and I'm sh actually already doing them, um, where an artist shows you step by step how to paint a painting, a really beautiful painting which you can choose beforehand. And all of that should be reachable, at attainable in one evening. In two hours, you will paint a perfect image, a perfect painting, and you will enjoy it, the painting, while having a glass of wine, while having snacks in a restaurant. So please, I need um, people to do my website, I need people to do the marketing, and everyone who wants to join is invited to. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. So, our last pitchy for the day. Will she really be the last one? No one getting up? So, the last pitch for the year of 2015 in Frankfurt, in this building, at this event, goes to Hannah. Give a nice round of applause to Hannah. Hello. 
we live in a world where we have like so many services, so many products, but sometimes we need like a service or a product that is really just one time. For example, if you need to work the entire day, but you need to get a cake baked with the name of your best friend and be delivered at that door, and you have like a neighbor you don't even know of that can bake really good and could just deliver the cake to that person, you might just create um, a network where there might be many different products and services based on keywords um, where people may register and um, may connect and may have a request or find a product. There might be even businesses that list all their products you know in the supermarket next to you that might run out of the shampoo that you actually needed. So people always not know what's next to them or may just have a request and yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. So, I have two microphones, I like that. What happens now? Everyone has pitched. Please give a nice round of applause for all these amazing pitches! Yeah.